The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia practices an extreme interpretation of Islam that imposes harsh curbs on women. Women must live under the supervision of a male guardian. They need their guardian's permission to get married, divorced, or even set up a bank account. And despite the country having very limited public transport, women are not allowed to drive. But Manal al-Sharif decided to take a stand. Miss al-Sharif worked for Saudi Arabia's largest oil company. In 2009, she was posted to America. One of the first things she did was learn how to drive. When I drive, I feel liberated. I feel I'm independent and I feel free. Driving for us is the symbol of resistance. In Saudi Arabia, I needed always a man to drive my car. I'm working and I still, I'm still treated like a child. When Manal returned to Saudi two years later, she was not prepared to give up her newfound freedom. Someone had to lead by example. Someone had to take that action to show them that it can be done. It was 2011, the Arab Spring was going on. And I saw the youth in Egypt using social media, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter to call for change. Manal used social media to rally for a day of action, calling all Saudi women who could drive to get in the car and take to the roads. On June 17, we're starting driving our own cars by ourselves. We call it drive your own life. Manal defiantly drove through the streets of Khoba with a friend filming. <laughs> She posted the video on YouTube. It was viewed 700,000 times in one day. But not all the attention Manal received was wanted. Saudi secret police came to her house. She was arrested and sentenced to nine days in prison. There was international rally calling for my release that led to my release. My, ha my father had to go actually to the king and ask for a pardon. My charges was driving while female. Despite the threat of more prison time, she is still campaigning for women's rights. Since driving in Saudi Arabia, Manal's inspired others to get behind the wheel in her home country as an act of protest. Things are slowly changing. In May 2017, King Salman issued an order allowing women to access education and healthcare without the consent of a male guardian. However, guardianship is still extremely limiting for women. Imagine you give birth to your own guardian, because the guardian can be the father, the husband. If you don't have a man in your life who's an adult as mahram, it could be your own son. Your own son gives you permission to get your papers or leave the country. In this deeply conservative kingdom, the fight for women's rights has a long road ahead. <laughs>